Hey guys, thank you for watching the Moth Giting Giting video. And finally, we're doing this video. Here it is. So, it's been a while since my last video and I really wanted to create this video because I feel na this is very important if this is one of your dream climbs. This is the part where I share my experience in climbing one of the toughest mountains in the Philippines and give you some recommendations and tips on how to do this hike yourself. My name is Neil Bigasa and I'm an aspiring content creator. I document my adventures. I do silent hiking videos. You can check out all my social media platforms here and in, in the description down below. And I would like to thank you for your support since day one that I'm publishing my videos and you appreciating all of it. Maraming maraming salamat po. This is a DIY climb with my usual climber buddies, the DIY project. And this is the climb also that really challenges us regardless of our mountain experience. Mount Giting Giting stands 2,058 meters above sea level. It is located at Sibuyan Island, Drumblon. Giting Giting in local term means jagged. It is also dubbed as the Galapagos of Southeast Asia because of its diverse flora and fauna and home to 54 endemic species out of 700. Known trails are Tampayan Trail in the north and Olango Trail in the south. Features of the trail are woodlands, dense forest, mossy forest, ridge hike with sharp boulders and jagged peaks. And it is one of the most difficult technical mountains. So here is the experience. Most of us are from Bacolod so we traveled via Roro midnight. We arrived in the morning to Iloilo then traveled to Rojas via van that we hired. We arrived at Rojas at around 7 a.m. We strolled a bit nearby area around the port while waiting for our ferry schedule. Doon na rin kami nag-almasal and at 12.35 noon, nakasakay na kami ng ferry to Sibuyan Island. There is only one schedule of boat trip per day from Rojas. Almost 8 hours ang biyahe from Rojas to Sibuyan Island so we had a lot of waiting time pang bawi ng tulog. We arrived at Sibuyan Island at 8pm and rode tricycles to the DNR office of Mount Giting Giting Natural Park where we logged in, filled up our permits, and did our orientation. Then we proceeded to the house of our guide, Sir Bermar. Since this is a DIY climb, pinaula kanya kami sa malit yung bahay at dun rin kami nag dinner at natulo. Day 1 of the climb. We woke up at 4 a.m. to do final preparation before heading to the jump off. We pa kami, nagkape, kumain na almasal, at pre climb stretching, at sumakay ng tricycle patungo jump off with our guides and porters. We started our trek at around 7 a.m. The start of the trail is a gradual incline. May dinaanan kaming mga water streams which we refilled our water bottles kasi mga almost 5 hours pa to the next water source. We arrived at Camp 1 at around 8.07 a.m. The next part of the trail were still gradual inclines patungong Camp 2 and 3. It's like the usual mountain trail of woodlands and mossy forest. We had lunch at Camp 3 at 12.45 noon. We arrive at the Bulod water source, which is the last water source before the campsite. Duna kami nag refill for our water needs sa campsite. Then we were at this tree na supposedly parang viewing deck na makikita mo na ang mga peaks kaya lang walang clearing that time. The next part are all ascents all the way to Mayo's Peak. We made it to Mayo's Peak at 3:35 p.m. There, we set up camp. Actually, hindi ito yung campsite. The guides adjusted the campers kasi merong incident of a lightning strike days before. Maulan that time, medyo hindi ka aya-aya mag-set up ng tent, shelter, and everything kasi maputik at basa. But, we don't have a choice. We had our dinner and socials earlier so we can also rest early. Day 2, Summit Assault. We woke up at around 4.30 a.m. to do coffee eat breakfast, and do final prep, our guides gave us orientation before starting our climb. The first part of the trail are ridge hikes. Merong moment doon na almost nagka-clearing before we descended down, pero prank lang pala. Ito na yung part ng trail na dadaan ka sa sharp, edgy boulders at dumadag pa yung hangin sa challenge. The good thing was, hindi madulas yung mga bato which help our steps and grip. There were pitcher plants and insects along the way. The wind started to pick up at medyo mahirap na sa trail. 
But when we arrived at the Eagle's Rock or Kamay na Bato in local term, there we had a little glimpse of what we are about to ascend. It was massive but beautiful. That was the first time na na-witness namin ang clearing sa giting-giting and we had high hopes na magtutuloy-tuloy siya. But it didn't. We passed the knife edge, camelback, and kissed the wall safely even with strong winds. It was grueling ascent with big jagged rocks. May mga parts na very narrow lang talaga ang aapakan at ahawakan mo. The guides were experts on this. They knew where to hold and step and mostly nakachinelas lang sila and <clears throat> ang tindi nila. I started to shiver with the constant winds and rain. Ugh, napakalamig doon. Nakarating kami sa Marvel Spring at around 10 a.m. The last water source before the summit. Nakakita kami ng maliit na mountain red crab. At this point, we abandoned our hopes na magka-clearing. The only goal we had was to summit. We reached the peak of deception eventually at almost 12 noon. Sabi ng guide sa amin, ang pinakamatagal na makakasummit kami is at 12 noon. But we're one hour late. Sabi ng iba, ito daw yung peak of decision. Kasi you will decide mag-push ka ng summit or not. But we pushed, of course. The weather was getting nasty. We arrived at the 90 degree wall as in wall talaga siya. I'm amazed how the guides were masters of climbing this section. They assisted us thoroughly for our safety passing down the 90 degree wall. Then after the 90 degrees wall, the summit is only 100 meters away. Nabasa ko sa isang vlog na ito raw yung walk of fame kasi easy na lang papuntang summit. Then at 1 p.m. we summited Mount Kitingiting. Finally, most of us were on tears. As in ang saya ng feeling na nakapag-summit despite of the tough challenge. Hindi lang halata yung tears of joy namin kasi grabe yung ulan. Doon na rin kami nag-lunch sa summit at grabe yung ginaw doon dahil sa ulan. We descended down at 1.45pm. The weather wasn't finished with us. Constant pa rin yung malakas na hangin at ulan. We were caught in the dark descending down. It was really tough. Some of us experienced symptoms of hypothermia, including me. But we have to keep moving to keep our blood flowing. Thank God nothing worse happened. We arrived at the campsite at 9pm. We had our dinner and a bit of socials then natulog because of exhaustion. Day 3, we descended down at 9am and got back to the jump off at 3pm. Day 4 is a rest day. Our original plan was to go to Cresta de Gallo but my typhoon advisory that time. We didn't risk crossing the sea so we chilled na lang kami sa malapit na beach and spring. Day 5 was our travel back day. So that was the whole experience. Grabe, it was really one great climb. And before we proceed to our recommendations and tips, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Joke, wala pa rin. <laughs> Ba't ko ba ginagawa to? This space is still available for us. Okay, whatever. How to climb there? This is a DIY climb. Our team lead contacted Sir Bermar Tanshanko. He is a senior guide in Mount Gitinggiting. Most of the groups na gusto mag-DIY, si Sir Bermar yung pinokontak. If you watch the documentary of Ms. Cara David sa GMA, he is their guide. I will put his contact details down in the description below. Once makasecure ka na ng dates with Sir Bermar, siya na rin yung mag-arrange ng mga permits nyo sa Sibuyan Island Romblon. Which is convenient for the group. Take note that this is a DIY climb. There are also organizers that conduct official climbing events. Marami nito sa Facebook. So if you're looking for a hassle-free climb and you have the budget, better na mag-inquire kayo sa kanila. When to climb? Our schedule that time was June 9 to 11. So papasok na yung rainy season and may incoming na bagyo that time. As you saw in the video, very limited yung clearing doon. During Habagat season, less likely yung clearing all throughout. According sa mga guides, the best time to climb Mount Kitingiting is during the summer season if yung goal mo talaga is an unobstructed view of the peaks. Ang disadvantage lang kapag summer season is sobrang init kasi open trail area lahat especially pag nag-summit assault ka na. And also, limited lang yung water source in the mountain. Uh, personally, I prefer summer kasi for documentation purposes. Based sa mga nakita kong pictures and videos of Mount Gitingiting na may clearing, napaka-amazing talaga ng view. 
So, I would really like to get back there. Um, Duro summer next year. I would really like to capture drone shots of Mount Kitingiting. What to wear on this climb? I would still advise to bring dry fit clothes. Actually, flat ng mountains. Um, any physical activity na mapapawisan ka. Dry fit clothes is really um, a must. Shirts, shorts, pants. Day one is mostly forested area. May presence ng limatic a thousand meters above. I would advise to wear long socks and stretchable pants. Super diverse ng flora and fauna sa Mount Kitingiting. So, it's really a must. During the summit assault, wear long stretchable pants. <laughs> Nagsisi ako that time kasi I wore shorts. <laughs> Um, it's not advisable. Pag nahabutan kayo ng hangin, ulan, it would really contribute to the cold at napaka-annoying ng feeling. So yun, magpants kayo. Speaking of hangin at ulan, bring rain shell jackets. Uh, make sure na intact pa yung waterproofing. You can also bring gloves. Maraming sharp edges na bato and there are also insects that can cause harsh bites. Pro tip, bring emergency blankets. Ito yung siguro na na-learn ko during this climb to really back up a emergency blanket kasi during that time especially sa ganitong klasing bundok hindi mo ma predict yung weather may mga tendency talaga na grabe yung hangin at ulan it could really cause hypothermia so it's really best to bring emergency blankets kung wala emergency blanket pwede ring i think um yung big plastic bags yung black garbage bag pwede rin yun as a base layer sa katawan mo mahanginan ka talaga at mababasa ka it is really best na merong kang base layer na hindi directly pagpasok ng cold sa yung katawan budget this is a DIY climb so somehow nakatipid kami roughly you have to prepare this amount full details of the budget breakdown in the description down below also I would like to highlight na uh, kailangan yung i-prioritize sa planning nyo yung time management. In our case, we were late to our targeted time sa Summit Assault. We could have started our trek earlier. The weather was one factor that slowed us. So if you start earlier, then you will hit your targeted time and descend down early then. Before, there was a turnaround time that if you haven't reached that certain point in the mountain in a particular time, you have to turn back. Or else, it's going to be a hard route back at dangerous na for the group. In our group, we still pushed the summit even though we were late. But yun nga lang, nagkabihan kami sa trail. It was hard trailing back. I posted a Q&A in my Instagram stories last time. And most of you asked on how to prepare for the climb. Well, personally, I would really advise to take Mount Giting Giting seriously. Yes, may ganyo ka sa pictures and videos. Napakaganda ng views. Spectacular, amazing. But to climb there is not an easy journey. Physically, you have to make sure that you have enough exercise. At least two weeks prior to your schedule. I pushed myself running long distances. I even tried rock climbing. It really helped um, sa rock climbing. You will really feel uh, the climbing of the boulders. Also, um, strengthen your core and your lower body. And it will help you also um, in your grips, in your steps. Also, mental preparedness. It always plays a key role. Not just in Giting Giting, but all the mountains that you plan to climb. Kailangan ready ka sa ano pwede mangyari. Focus on what you can control on how you take every situation. There are things that is out of your control, like the weather. The more you prepare for what's worse, the more you make the experience manageable. The right mindset will take you further to the next summits. Research is important. I think parang, parang yan yung, yung core ng preparation. First, you have to know your mountain. Its trails, terrain, difficulty, flora and fauna present. Those essential things you have to know so you know what essentials to bring. Clothes, backpack, shoes, tents. One thing that I realized ko during this climb is to ask first, um, what's the feature of the campsite? No, nakarating kami sa campsite. Dun na namin na realize na na kung alam lang namin na forested area, we should have bring hammocks. Easy to set up and very lightweight. So it's really important to research. And that's it. Thank you for making this far.
Special thanks to our group, the DIY Project, for making this happen. This is one of our dream climbs. And again, lahat ng hirap at pagod natin dito ay napaka-worth it. Actually, hindi lang dito. Sa lahat ng mountains na na-climb na natin. I'm proud of us. And I'm grateful kasi we all went home complete and safe. Thank you, Glenn, for the awesome GoPro footages that I used in this video. Sir Bermar Kuya Toto for coordinating the climb in Sibuyan Island, Romblon. And also our guides, especially kay Alexander, thank you. And my partner brand sa content ko. Special thanks to Rivers Drinkware for the awesome coffee gears. As always, I brought the coffee titanium mug and the micro coffee dripper. And this time, they sent me their grinder, which is really lightweight. And it's really awesome na meron kang freshly grind coffee beans that you can brew in the mountains. Lakasa de Cape PH for providing me coffee drips and coffee beans. I'm really grateful for them. Arctic Fox PH, the Fial Raven brand. Thank you for sending me the High Coast Fall Sack 24 during summit assaults and day hikes it really helps if you have a small pack wherein you can put your essentials like trail snacks um waters uh, medicine kits and then for me i always bring my um, gears my drone my camera my tripod so having a good backpack or small pack during these times is essential. Henry's Cameras PH for lending me two tripods and one of those is the Photo Pro Carbon Fiber Tripod. It's very lightweight, easy to set up, easy to use, and it's perfect for documenting your adventures. All of the product links are in the description down below and support me by supporting my sponsors. And of course, all of you who supports this channel, old and new, since day one, I'm really grateful for you guys. And asahan nyo na marami pa tayong adventures and videos in the future. If I miss things and details, feel free to comment down below so we can discuss further. Um, in this way, we can help the viewers um, provide more valuable information if they plan to hike this mountain. And don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Salamat po. Di umano. Di umano. Ang Mount Giting Giting. Di umano. Sa to the followers of Neil, pwede na, pwede na. Mahirap. <laughs> ano ba? Low sa doon niya? <laughs> sa buong Pilipinas. <laughs> gas, <laughs> abil gas. Two and done. Wala man yung record. Taka, record na. Sa saliwa yan. I'm going to go to the the Ampun nila ako. Sir Neil! Idol! Idol! Yan yung basher ko ngayon. <laughs> Bakit ang video mo? 